Yes, thank you very much to Senator Jaffer for bringing this amendment. And I will be supporting this amendment because I agree that this information is needed here. However, I wanted to pose this question. In the last few years, why does the Senate keep passing these kinds of amendments to collect data and do studies about how many times vulnerable people are potentially discriminated against or hurt by state actions or new government legislation? This happened on the random alcohol testing um, amendment issue, the carding issue a few years ago, and now on this. As many senators who participated in the dozens of hours of our legal committee's meeting on Bill C-7 know, our committee recently heard from many witnesses from the Indigenous community and others who experience race-based inequities who voiced major disapproval of Bill C-7. So, honourable senators, instead of just collecting data about these things, once they're already in place, why instead don't senators vote against discriminatory and hurtful government legislation for vulnerable Canadians, like Bill C-7, as those witnesses from vulnerable populations we heard from pleaded with us to do? After all, this data that would be collected in this particular case would be detailing how many of these vulnerable people have died by MAID. Why don't we instead focus on helping and supporting these vulnerable Canadians and try to save their lives instead of only counting their deaths 